Full Flash Season 3 spoilers are eligible in 5, 4, 3, 2, don't say I didn't warn you! Flashpoint has come and gone, Nora Allen, she's dead once again, and Iris West, where is she? We will get to the bottom of it. All that and more coming up in Flashback. What's going on, Comic Book Nation? Welcome and thank you for joining us on our very first episode of Flashback. Tonight we have a great show. We're very excited about it. We're going to get to the bottom of everything that happened in that Flashpoint season premiere of The Flash. We've got an exclusive interview with Teddy Sears coming up, but let me introduce ourselves. I am your host, Brandon Davis. You can call me BD. This is Chris Killian, Lucas Siegel on the ends there. We are your CW TV experts. Uh, we are ready to talk Flash. Let's just talk about uh, it, dude, right off the bat. Yeah. Immediate reaction so to Flash. So exciting. I love the Kid Flash costume. I mean, I feel like we were waiting half of the season, the second season, to see Wally Western in the Kid Flash, so I, that was a good payoff. Yeah, Kid Flash was awesome, and I'm shocked, shocked, shocked the Flashpoint is over already. It's over. So much hype. Let's, let, let, that, that's one of the things I want to talk about, yeah. is that the Flashpoint comic was five, five comic books directly, 61 right. in total right. for all the tie-ins, and it's one episode of The Flash. Why do you think that is? Yeah, it was definitely surprising to see this whole storyline be one and done, after all the hype, after all the interviews, I feel like every question at Comic-Con, even to like the Arrow and uh, Supergirl teams, was about Flashpoint, and now it's done already. Yeah. Clearly, the, the writers feel that there's more to explore about the world after Flashpoint mm -hmm. than there was yeah. for the world of Flashpoint but itself. Which makes some sense, because you don't want Barry dwelling on it all so much. Yeah, but not dwelling on it so much is one thing, but this was a little jarring, because it took like two seasons <laughs> for Barry to decide finally to go back in time and save his and mom. It took and him then 40 minutes. 40 minutes, and he's like, oh, just go back and kill her. Yeah, yeah, but that, like Lucas said, that yeah. does emphasize the fact that they're looking forward to what comes after Flashpoint. Uh, right. Which brings me to my next point, what comes after Flashpoint, and it seems like Alchemy, Dr. Alchemy. Ah, that was you, such a Chris good Chris was geeking out about yeah, this. <laughs> Dr. Alchemy is on his way. Now, in the comic books, he was originally Mr. Element. I don't know that, I think they're going to skip over that whole thing here, but... Dr. Alchemy in the comics has disassociative identity disorder. That's impressive. That, that, was, that, was, without, that was good. That was I didn't stumble good. that much. But he's got that, and since he's talking, since he was talking, the you could hear his voice, yeah. and which Tobin Bell is actually going to talk as him this season from Saw, so that's exciting. Yeah. But I just uh, I think they're going to talk about that and uh, go over that this season with Dr. Alchemy, the, the identity disorder. I, I was actually more excited about how Alchemy decided to talk to everybody which was via a mirror. Mirror Master is rogues. supposed to finally be the rogues up. are lining up. <laughs> the, the final Round up the of, of like I the big time rogues. I didn't think about that. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah we're and, he, yeah. and he's writing and talking yeah. through a mirror. It's clearly Mirror Master, which means that Alchemy is probably going around and recruiting villains. Yeah. And we might see a big, big villain team up this season. Yeah, that's, should be fun. I guess you could call that an Easter egg, which is a great yeah. segue to the next topic. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome, Brandon. <laughs> uh, the, 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 it's DC Comics, every comic book TV show movie, there's Easter eggs. Tonight was no exception. Uh, we had our Easter eggs from the Flashpoint comic book. Uh, there was the moment where Eobard Thawne got to say... Uh, I'm the hero today, but in the comic, it's kind of a mirror, like you just said, yeah, yeah. Uh, of him saying, who's the villain now? Uh, and then also we had uh, the memory <laughs> loss, had to look down to it because I forgot about it. They, and I thought it was really cool how they did that, like, because in the comic, you had the different panels being split up, like, with the wiggly lines. Right. And then tonight, you had, like, the splotches almost coming in and then going back out. And it was like, oh, I forgot that I was wearing that super cool red suit uh, <laughs> back when we were first learning how to run fast. Right. Uh, but that, that uh, the Easter eggs was really cool. And But really my thing is, uh, where is Iris? That yeah. seems like the biggest factor for his decision. I don't know, I feel like they set us up big time at the end there when he was like, you know we don't talk about Iris. And I was like, oh, she's dead. Oh my God, Iris yeah. is dead in this timeline. I thought but, she was dead. Yeah. And then they were like, no, they're just not talking. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was a big drop off. It was a big that build up. Was, Especially yeah. with predictions. Let's, she's, let's, I think let's she's probably addicted to drugs. Yeah. Addicted to drugs, addicted that's your drugs. guess? Uh, my thought slash hope is that's that. That's a big shift in Iris' personality, <laughs> but, but we'll continue. <laughs> 
My hope is that she's over in Keystone City. A lot of Addicted people don't... Addicted to drugs in Keystone yeah. City. Maybe, yeah. Nice, nice. It's where you go for drugs. But uh, <laughs> it's a good uh, many, many people right? don't know that Keystone and, and Central are kind of twin cities. Yeah. So so we, we really haven't seen much of Keystone. It'd be cool to... To open that door yeah. a little bit and expand the DC universe. So, it's probably Iris, a better guess absent than what I from had. the end of the episode. Uh, Hunter Zellman, absent from almost the whole episode, not yeah. the entire episode. Back to the Easter eggs thing. Uh, we had that, that little montage as the timeline was correcting itself, right? Where Barry was going through, it was all of the first two seasons we saw. We looked at that yeah, we in incredibly slow motion. Yes. And frame we saw by frame. That we there was it. nothing new there, but Iris was and there. And Iris is there. Iris is there. But more importantly, you know who's there? Hunter's on. I would have loved to see Hunter as like a barista, like or a Mazda <laughs> spokesperson, like Zoom Zoom. Right. But right. I, had, I had to do it. Right.